I've been looking more into Trump's actions in relation to COVID-19. I certainly think he should have pushed for testing more. He should have pushed for quarantines on a federal level. He should have pushed for the federal government to get supplies to hospitals. Pushed for U.S. manufacturers to make ventilators far earlier on. But I have to give Trump credit for enacting travel restrictions between the U.S. and China far early on. At the time, people called him racist and xenophobic over it. Even the World Health Organization criticized him over it. Trump put in those travel restrictions almost a month before people like Nancy Pelosi said, Come to Chinatown. Come to Chinatown. As if COVID-19 wasn't a real threat. Look what news media was pushing for the longest time. That, oh, it's just like the flu. COVID-19 is just like the flu. Of course, some media outlets were calling it originally the China virus, but that's neither here nor there. Media was saying that Trump was overreacting in his travel restrictions. Again, this notion that Trump is racist and xenophobic. Now, we can see that there was a private conference, or maybe multiple conferences, that Trump was involved in, that showed what kind of threat this really was. And some of the people in those conferences decided quickly to sell a bunch of stocks. And at that point, Trump should have done a lot more. So don't get me wrong here, I'm not trying to say Trump is a good guy here. The World Health Organization has been praising China since the beginning of this. For the longest time, the World Health Organization had even claimed that there wasn't any evidence that the coronavirus transferred from human to human. Anything that China said, the World Health Organization parroted. Sort of like how Republicans like to parrot anything that Trump says, you know? Quite bluntly, between China's attempted cover-up and what they're doing lately, which is to try to put restrictions on research into COVID-19's origins, you know, so it doesn't look like it's China's fault. Yeah, China is doing a far more terrible job than Trump. And to combat the coronavirus, China literally rounded up their own citizens to die. Not to get treated, no, to die. They even sealed some of their citizens in their homes by welding the doors shut. So they would die. That's sick. That's disgusting. And let's not forget that China tried to claim that COVID-19 was created and imported by the U.S. military. I wouldn't doubt that China is covering up their real numbers. I don't trust what they say at all, honestly, and I don't understand why other people do. Oops, you don't want to be racist, so you must praise China. The CCP demands it. So yes, I do think Trump could have done a better job, and he still could do a lot more to try to flatten the curve and help the hospitals. And no, it's not racist or xenophobic to say that China's government has been the biggest problem. They knew what was up far before we did, and they did nothing initially except try to cover it up until it wasn't able to be covered up anymore. Look how they treated the whistleblower. So where does that leave us? I don't know, and none of us know. We've just got to hope for the best. You know?